Hi there, my name is Justin Laymiller, author of the blog Sex and Psychology and the book Tell Me What You Want, and I am back to answer more of your sex questions. So today, we're going to be talking about the subject of infidelity, because this is a topic that you all keep writing me about over and over again. And I've noticed that there's one specific question about infidelity that seems to keep popping up. And this is the question of whether there are any reliable signs or indicators that your partner might be cheating. So how can you tell if your partner is committing infidelity or not? Now, this is a great question, but before we answer it, I think we first need to step back and ask the broader question of, well, what is cheating anyway? You know, so if you want to talk about potential signs or indicators of cheating, I think you need to know what cheating is and for people in a relationship to be on the same page about that. Now, unfortunately, many people have never had that discussion with their partner. They just sort of assume what is okay and what isn't okay for partners to do. And unfortunately, that leads to situations where one partner does something and ends up hurting the other partner and doesn't realize it because they never had that conversation or discussion. So in your own relationship, you want to start first by getting on the same page with your partner about what is and is not cheating. Because it turns out that people are all over the map and you can't assume that your partner is going to have the same definition of you. So for example, in studies where you give people checklists of dozens of different behaviors and you ask them to indicate whether each one might be cheating or might not be cheating, you see that there isn't 100% agreement on anything. And even within people in the same relationship, they don't necessarily answer those questions in the same way. So start first by getting on the same page with your partner about cheating and infidelity and make sure you have solid sexual communication. Now, assuming you've done that, let's address this question of, well, are there any signs or indicators of cheating? Now, there are some people who argue that there are, and this is where we start getting into the concept of what some people in the media refer to as micro-cheating. And personally, I hate this concept because basically what it involves is parsing apart each individual behavior that your partner is doing that you think might indicate them showing interest in someone else and you flag that as a sign of potential cheating. So is your partner fantasizing about someone else? Are they uh, checking someone else out? Are they watching pornography without you, right? These are behaviors that have been deemed micro cheating by some because they are signs of showing interest sexually in other people. I think this is a really problematic way to approach relationships, to just assume that anytime your partner is attracted to someone else, that it means there's a problem or that they are cheating. The truth of the matter, the reality, is that people have this inherent need for novelty. We're turned on by doing something new and different. We're turned on by the prospect of uh, new and different sexual partners. It's very difficult for people to only be attracted to one person for their entire lives, right? It's normal for people to, throughout their lifespan, be attracted to multiple different individuals. That doesn't mean that there's a problem with them. It doesn't mean there's a problem with the relationship. It doesn't even mean that they're thinking about or that they're necessarily going to cheat, right? It's just normal to be turned on by novelty. So that's where I think the micro-cheating concept becomes very problematic. So rather than looking at this uh, through the lens of micro-cheating, um, perhaps a healthier way to, to think about uh, cheating and infidelity and whether there are any reasons or causes for concern is to think about whether there are any patterns in your relationship that suggest deception. So is your partner someone who you have caught consistently in lies, where, for example, they say they're going out for drinks with work colleagues, but it turns out they were really doing something else, right? Or are they pretending to be single in front of some people uh, and, and not telling them and being honest with them about the fact that they're in a relationship? If your partner is engaged in a persistent pattern of lying and deception and you catch them in this, that's a potential red flag, right? Because infidelity is something that tends to be surrounded by a lot of deception, right? Where people do it, they don't tell their partner about it, and then they tend to engage in lots of lies to cover it up. So if you're worried about cheating, right, ask yourself the question of, is there a lot of deception in my relationship that I'm aware of? Uh, if so, that's something that is a sign that you're going to want to have a discussion with your partner about where that lack of honesty is coming from. It could indicate cheating. It might not, but it's a sign that you might want to have a discussion about it. Okay, so the take-homes from this are first, get on the same page with your partner about what cheating is and isn't. Second, dump the concept of micro-cheating. And third, 
pay attention to signs of, of deception and lying because those are a potential cause for concern. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, please continue to send your questions in to me at drlaymiller at gmail.com, and I hope to answer more of them in future videos. Be sure to follow the blog, Sex and Psychology, at sexandpsychology.com, and uh, check out my book, Tell Me What You Want, if you want to learn about the science of sexual desire and how it can help you improve your sex life. Thanks for watching. See you next time.